Hello Virgos, how are you? Thank you for joining me for your weekly tarot, horoscope, magical aura reading with me Cindy. It's nice to connect with you guys again. My beautiful, beautiful, sexy Virgos. So what are we doing this week? So what we're doing is we're asking, we're trying to get some insight into what is coming towards you that you are not aware of, that is in your blind spot. It's, um, you don't anticipate it. It's coming towards you and trying to get some clarity for you on it. There's like voices and I can't figure out where they're coming from. <laughs> oh, it's usually a sign of psychosis, right? A little bit psychotic. I don't know. I think they're real voices over there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see what is coming towards Virgo. Virgo has no idea about. I like this one. Oh, this is nice. I think most of them have been a little bit heavy lately. Hummingbird, air energy. So this would be like um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And you know what's great about this card? Like this is someone who is really... Um, emotionally and spiritually developed they have um and they've developed because they've been through a lot of crap in life they've experienced a lot of different situations and um wow it just got so hot here like the wind is gone and it's just like a, a suppressive heat so i'm feeling like maybe this person might be coming in to clear something for you that's very hot and suppressive um you know agitating you because they this hummingbird beats their wings so quickly that they constantly keep the darkness away it's just it's just how they are it's just how they function it's just their method of operation at this point in their life so that's what's coming towards you it's really beautiful okay and how is this gonna make virgo feel <laughs> Uh, you would think good, right? But you just never know where this is going. <laughs> so how is this going to make Virgo feel? <sighs> that is really loud. That's a cicada. It's really close. I know I've had people complain. Oh yeah, I'm outside if you haven't noticed. And um, I've had in some of the videos, someone's like, what is that annoying sound? <laughs> it's a cicada. Singing its song. Okay. How is this going to make Virgo feel? Ooh, that came out just so nice. Oh man, guys. This reading is going to be the epitome of readings. <laughs> I don't think you guys have ever had this card before. This card has come out for a few... Um, it's interesting. Because most of the time when this card comes out, it's a very, very deep... Like, to me, this is, this is God. <laughs> This is like God coming through in the reading and um, with the strength and all seeing of the biggest creator, like whatever it was that created the universe, whatever that is for you, that's what this energy is. Like there are different levels of spirit and even those that are seen to try to be God-like, but then there's only one that created everything that lives within all of us. And most of the time, this card comes out for me when a sign or people who have come to the video are experiencing, um, you know, depression or anxiety or just un unhappiness. And this is coming out to remind them about the strength that they have within them and how deeply loved they are by the universe and that they are part of a very, very big plan. But yet it's quite simple. It's just about how much you're loved and how much growth this energy wants to push you towards because it wants you at its level at some point with like it so it's but this 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 is going to make you feel like that oh, this is just amazing i gotta put them down here because they keep blowing so the breeze is coming the breeze came back with this card wow i don't even know how like how this is gonna play out like how 
because a situation or a person is coming towards you. It's nice and breezy now. It's coming towards you that their aura, their way of being, existing, just without trying, keeps darkness away. It keeps it away. And what does that do? But it brings you up to the highest, almost the highest level you could possibly attain. So I'm going to assume that whoever's come to this video is on their last life on this planet and you're like old, you're ready to go. Like, how do you get to this level? I don't know. I really, this is gonna be interesting. Oh my gosh, at the bottom of the deck we have the eagle. More air energy coming in here. And for me, this is like, you know, some like amazing energy, spirit energy coming in on the wind, the change in the wind, the eagle, and the prosperity to the, like this is harnessing the sun to me. <sighs> wow, I'm harnessing the sun. All right, I'm gonna go into this. This is my favorite tarot deck. I get a ton of messages out of this, like really deeper, more subliminal messages because the artwork is so interesting. There's always something playing around in the background in the in this imagery. I think we need that for the I don't I really do like this. This is good if you want a quick, concise message, and sometimes I'll get stuff, a little bit of stuff in here. But yeah, like look at like even like look at the King of Pentacles, look at how much is going on. In there right like so we're good we're gonna go in here Whew, okay okay what what is the hummingbird is the first thing that I want to get some clarification for you on remember you don't see this coming this is um, and it's you know it's there's all probably all sorts of stuff in your lives that we don't see coming um, little things like I didn't know that my neighbor was gonna be taking her dog for a walk just now and I saw her go by on the sidewalk that's tiny or big things like somebody just called you and um, somebody that you care about that you've known all your life you grew up with them they just phoned to let you know you know what I just got the most amazing job offer on the other side of the world I'm packing up and leaving in two weeks <laughs> what you can't do that how are we gonna see each other you know like so there's different levels of what's coming towards you um, but you know so when we ask the question there's a lot of stuff that spirit doesn't want you to know about. Jeez, air conditioner is kind of loud. Doesn't want you to know about um, because there's reasons, right? Like it's karmic, karmic cleansing, karmic energy, karmic situations. You need to make those choices without being influenced. And so when they come forward with some information, they want you to succeed and it's not necessarily karmic cleansing. It's just like a deep spiritual development might be going on here. And this is their, they're here to help, so they want to help. So what, what else can Spirit tell um, Virgo about this hummingbird? This hummingbird that's coming towards them. Wow. Okay, we got two cards that came out. The first one is the Knight of Pentacles. Typically, the Knight of Pentacles is very, is the slowest moving knight out of all of the suits in the tarot deck. And, um... It's slow moving, but yet it's very stable. Whatever this knight brings forward, whatever they're offering is good. Like it's everlasting, it's ever growing. It's, it's not just, you know, fly by night and it's done. Whatever this knight brings, it's good. It's stable. It's bringing something to you. And be, um, I will, the thing that I get from this card that's interesting is because typically the knights are slow, but this one is on a giant squirrel. <laughs> if you've ever seen a squirrel, <laughs> it's not slow. It's not slow at all. And it's um, a little bit scattered, <laughs> actually. And that might be why this knight is a little slow. Because the squirrel will come down the tree. I'm going to go this way. Through the like, what the heck are you doing? I just saw a squirrel do that one day. He wandered across the street. And then so he started coming across. He got right in the middle. And then he stood there. And it was like, he's thinking, do I really want to do this? And then cars were starting. To, I could see the cars. And I'm like, buddy, you need to make a choice. Because you're going to get squished. And then he was like, shh, shh, shh. And he was almost at the other side. And then last minute he does it. No, I'm going to go right back. 
the end. And he did that almost right in front of a car. He made it. I'm like, what is crazy? That's <laughs> crazy. But so I think in that sense, that's why this this Knight of Pentacles can is depicted because they're slower. It's just there's a lot of things. Maybe distracting. Distracting's not right because this isn't the kind of person that's distracted. This person's really got to have it together to be able to do this. What I'm getting is this person is sought after by many people because of the energy that they have. They're just like, they're like the empress in the tarot. Like people are just attracted to it. It's just, it's wonderful, fertile, creative, loving, easy energy so people are attracted to it and they're often being pulled and and they will go they will go to help other people or to to engage in them and, and talk to them because you know this person may also be very empathic so people are naturally drawn to them just to, to lay out their life story and they're like just going for a walk and they get you know i'm, I'm gonna be gone for 20 minutes honey. i'm just going for a walk and coming back but they're gone for two hours because you know they see someone and say, hi how are you Oh, I just had the worst day. And it's like, I don't even know this person. So I feel like there's a lot of little avenues that pull this person out. But, so this is the other card. The Ten of Cups. This person is bringing just, well, how could it not be if you're going to go into this dragon energy? My goodness. Let's see where this goes. Like, let's really see where this goes. The Ten of Cups. First, let's see what the Knight's bringing. They're bringing you, wow, the King of Cups. This reading is just beautiful. The King of Cups, Pisces. I get a lot of Pisces energy from this card. I get a little bit of Cancer energy, but I do get a lot of Pisces energy from this card. Um, this guy is just so deep in his feelings, guy or girl, however you want to describe it. And they, um, so this knight is bringing you, this is so funny, because this knight is pulled all over the place. I think it's their intention to get to you. They see the Ten of Cups with you. This is just beautiful, beautiful energy. This person is amazing. <laughs> wow. And they're just like, they're right up there. They're not even working their way up. This isn't the Page of Cups. This is the King of Cups. They're not playing any games. Um, whatever they're speaking is the absolute truth from deep within them. They're just open with it. If you don't accept it, that's okay. Because my journey is about, you know, happiness in myself and others. It's not just about me. So this is really, really nice energy with that King of Cups. I want to know. I'm getting the message here. So we have 10 cups here. Can we get some indication what's in these cups? What do they see in these cups? What do they see in these cups for Virgo? Like what, what is it they would like to put in your cups? What is it they would like to put in Virgo's cups? Geez, more offers. Beginnings, new beginnings. New information, new beginnings towards you. Intangible things in your life, physical things that are really here in your life is what they want to bring to you. That's one of the things in the cup. There's a new beginning here, a new beginning in work, new beginning in a home, new beginning in a car, a new beginning in connection with a person. What else is in the cups? What else do they want to bring into Virgo's cups? What else would they like to put in Virgo's cups? What did they see in Virgo's cups? What's going in Virgo's cups? Oh. Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, happy home. Really like the completion of this. This is it, man, this is it. Happy, happy home. Rest, rejuvenation, end of a difficult cycle, just happiness, contentment. A lot of Pentacles here. A lot of earth energy, right? Well, that's you. <laughs> so, um, There's a small amount of you where you're actually the hummingbird and you're bringing this dragon energy to someone else. 
but I think for the most part, it's humming. This hummingbird person is bringing it to you, and because it's being depicted in Pentacles, it's what serves you. It's what's great for you. Like it's just, it's so harmonious. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's ask for one more cup. That's at least, what else is going to be in a cup here? Is there anything else you can put in a cup? Oh my gosh. This is interesting. So we got two cards. You got the Nine of Swords. So for me, this is the end. Not realizing that whatever the darkness was or whatever is holding you back a little bit is over. Because the sun has risen here, right? And even this, I like to call these wolves like little spirit guides that hang out with the people in these decks. The spirit guide is sitting there like, yeah, we're good to go now. We're okay. We survived the darkness. The sun is up. Just remove your hands and we'll go now, right? So they're just almost in a sense to show you that it's time to remove your hands. Everything is better now. <laughs> well, don't they just have all the answers? <laughs> and then the strength card. This is going to bring you like, this is going to strengthen you. It's going to, um, if your confidence has come down because of other situations, um, relationships that haven't gone well, this is going to bring strength back t to you. They they want that to happen. They they see that in you. They know you deserve it. Is like the message that I'm getting. It's not. It's, I just did one for Leo, and the person was very narcissistic that they were dealing with. This person, because it's the King of Cups, like right. I right. I said like they just they sort of in a very intuitive way know what serves others. And they don't do things to serve themselves if somehow it just does disservice to another because that that's bad and this person like you're both being uplifted to just beautiful beautiful angel energy <laughs> like wow okay so let's get into the dragon can we get more information about you know Fergo getting into this godlike dragon energy can we get more information <laughs> Like, of all the signs, Virgo is the one that is going to take it and run with it. Like, yeah, baby, I knew I was. It's about time the rest of the world knew I was godlike. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lily's barking. You know what? She's like, yeah, bring it down a level. <laughs> bring it down a level. Come on, Virgo. Um, what was the question? Like, why is it, why, how is this going to bring you to godlike energy? This is really being able to walk away from things that aren't good. Isn't that crazy weird that Lily is barking and we have a card of a dog, a German shepherd barking here at those people. Like walking away from what is, feels aggressive towards you, situation that doesn't serve you as hard as it is to walk away what are they walking away from? What does Virgo walk away from to move into this epic energy? Or that's too many cards. I'll do like eight at the most, but I am not doing like a dozen. That's too many, sorry. Okay, what is Virgo walking away from to get into this godlike energy? What are they walking away from? the cicadas i hope they're not bothering you too much today they're really noisy <laughs> they must be doing yeah even lily maybe she's nothing there lily 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 what are you barking at come up here hey i'm up here what you barking at what's going on huh she's giving me the stink eye it's like mommy i am patrolling <laughs> Oh, it's the wheel, the wheel of fortune. So that's what you're walking away from. This is getting really confusing now, guys. <laughs> Too many people involved. Um, the wheel of fortune, you're walking away. Okay, what was in this wheel of fortune? Because the wheel of fortune is not always good, right? It's not always good. So what was in the wheel of fortune? <gasps> the page of cups. So this is really young energy and experienced energy. You know, it's funny, I've always looked at the artwork in this and I've always felt like the person is very selfish, but 
but it's never really come through in a reading like that. But it does right now. You see how they're like drinking from their own cup and these two people are thirsty. We would love some of that, but no, I'm going to drink it all. So you are walking away. You're walking away from the page, the page of cups and going to the king, the king of cups. <laughs> okay. That's going to bring you into some good energy. What are we over 20 minutes already? Um, I want to do some clarification with the tarot, tarot de la nuit. It's tarot of the night. This is a cool deck and I may, well, I have for everyone. I've gone into the book and read some of the descriptions for whatever cards come out because it's very much, it's like a combination of um, a tarot and oracle cards, which is just, it's cool. It's a really cool deck. Okay, so what else can you tell us about, or tell Virgo about the dragon? This dragon energy. What does it bring them into? Like what, where, where, where do they go into to get this dragon energy? And we know they're leaving a situation, but. Oh, wow. Queen of Wands. Ooh, we got the Queen of Wands. So nice. Really like holding on to your own. Owning. Owning your desires, your strength displaying it in a sense too. <laughs> this is like Virgo to me. I know it's not a pentacle. But it's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Look at me. <laughs> I love it. And the moon. Remember it? Oh, I don't, did I tell you? This deck is about clarity in darkness for me. This is clarifying the darkness because it's the terror of the night. So it clarifies the darkness. So typically the moon doesn't give us clarity. You know, there's deep shadows, long, elongated shadows. It's hard to um, to decipher the truth. But let's see what it says about the moon in this. The moon. Where my soul wanders. I look like a princess lost in a great garden. I know. It is because I represent your inner shadows. The path your soul is wandering along when fear blocks you. But the light of the moon tells us it is now time to free ourselves, both you and I, from our anxiety and bad thoughts. Dig into your soul, go find the hidden truths, the weeds, and all the things that curb and restrain your own self. Make them come to the surface. Look them in the eyes so that they will no longer haunt you. Illusion, fantasies, or idealization must not guide you anymore. Oh, sorry, guide you anymore. Um, intuition must. A clear perception is now required to get you out of this lost garden or else you will wander in here forever. So the key words are overcoming fears and fantasies, facing the dark side of the moon in one's soul and intuition. Yeah, you do not see this coming. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> the bottom is the high priestess. How could it not be with this dragon energy? There's something inside you that is just amazingly spiritual and you're coming towards, you're walking away from something that just, you're beyond that level now. You're beyond this selfish indulgence, you know, beyond this selfish, indul selfish indulgence and moving towards a beautiful connection it's really, it's like a spiritual awakening, I think is the best way to, like if I had not pulled any cards out at all and you got this for how something is going to make you feel, what it's going to turn you into, it's a massive spiritual awakening. Massive. It's an upgrade. All right, so we're going to um, animal, my little animal deck here, oracles, get a final message for Virgo. My godlike Virgos. But we all are created in the, in the image of God. And we are all learning to harness our abilities and our connections to be able to live like that. And that's not in an egotistical or self-serving way, right? It's not. It's not. Owning one's truth and living. Living it in truth with deep feelings. My cards. That's too many cards. Let's try again. It's really hot and humid out here today. Oh, there we go. Oh, dove spirit. 
be peace yes my friends be peace peace comes to you peace is coming to you you are peace mm, that is so beautiful well I hope you like that that's what's coming to you that you don't see that's your blind side baby all right for girl that was really interesting I really like that reading it was wonderful energy that was coming through it didn't wear me out or tire me out at all I really appreciate that so thank you. You guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye.